this now that we're around us, guys. You've just yeah. got the five hours to go. Yeah, yeah. We still got a good way, way to go. Or under. Oh, yeah. yeah. Send it off, you've all been here. Yeah. Well, let's just also quickly as well, guys. Um, take a look back on what. Uh, quickly look back on what last year's Atlant uh, Atlantic Hurricane what season last delivered year? us. What's year? into this year? Uh, we'll just take a quick. Take, take, let's take a. No, let's no, take a no, quick. No, no, uh, no, Michael, you had plenty of chance to look back in the last four hours. We're looking forward now. <laughs> okay. Let's take a look um, at what's going on in the Atlantic right now, guys. Who's got some satellite imagery for us? Uh, yes. I volunteer. I've got the screen share anyway. Um, let's bring up the uh, floaters. That just sounds extremely wrong. Um, <laughs> here's the uh, rainbow imagery uh, of Tropical Storm. Well, not tropical, uh, post Tropical Storm Bonnie. Um, I'm looking extremely bad at the moment. Uh, no <laughs> confect. There's no. There's no convection there whatsoever. Uh, to be honest, uh, it looks, uh, it looks uh, fairly decent compared to uh, yesterday this time. Looks actually pretty darn good. It just looks, it just look. it's all it is now, it's just a band of disturbed thunderstorms. I wish it was. Still got, still got a decent circulation, still uh, pressures are falling. I wish to say that this... Late. Uh, I really wish the sat uh, I could say that the satellite is sh is showing the best depiction of how the system actually is, but it's not, sadly. The latest update on the uh, tracker has Bonnie at 30 miles an hour, 1,009 millibars, located at 33.4 degrees north, 77.9 degrees west. Uh, looking as well at uh, Invest 91E. Um, storms uh, expected uh, at the moment a 10. I believe a 10% chance, uh, no, it's up to 30% now, uh, a 30% chance of development in the next 48 hours, 80% in the next 5 days. Um, storm has winds of 25 miles per hour and a uh, pressure of 1,009 millibars. Storm is located at 9.3 degrees north, 110.6 degrees west. Um, hang on. There we go. Sorry, I just had to cough there a little bit. Um, uh, bit of feedback again. Oh, I don't hear it. Yeah. Well, that's the visible. You can see it's got some spin, but it's not got much else. Yeah, well, some, uh, I can see uh, some sort of convection in that one actually. Well, uh, for <coughs> you guys that uh, that don't know. Um, Usually, uh, the mineral minimum uh, usually causes waning of convection. Uh, I should be expecting to see convection refire after midnight as the mineral uh, maximum uh, starts uh, affecting the system. So uh, the, the, the <clears throat> waning in the in the evening is expected as um, that is pretty standard. Okay. Um, Sky Billy, you thought Justin's just typed in capital letters to me, it's hurricane season. I know it is. Yeah, well, it's hurricane season for you guys. I saw that a whole nother five hours ago. <laughs> yeah, but that'll go in fast, uh, Adam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just asking, I can't remember where the Cayman Islands are, but aren't those, they, those two <laughs> islands that uh, yep, South of Cuba? Yeah, yeah, no, you, 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 you're, you're right, you're right. Uh, do, do you know, do you know uh, uh, which islands are which and what they are? Yes, I know the big nope. ones like Cuba, Haiti and Dominica. No, I'm talking Dominica. about Cuba. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, Dominica is Dominica's not even a big island. <laughs> well, yeah, well, it's Dominican, the Dominican Republic, and That's Haiti. Right. Yeah, that is a difference. Oh, you're talking. Now you're talking. Uh, uh, well, they call it Hispanola. Both right. Haiti, Haiti, and Dominican Republic put together is called Hispaniola, but they are still separated, called uh, Dominican Republic and Haiti. Now we've been properly live for the past four hours, and for the first time, I'm going to leave the room for a few minutes. So. Uh, 
Good luck. Okay. Daniel might go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Oh. Uh, nature's cool. <laughs> I think that system will format them, but. Oh yeah, most, most, most definitely um, it's, it's becoming more of an agreement that uh, it would. Um, so it will be a stormy rest of the week for me with uh, possible deteriorating of conditions. By Hello? Hello? So. Hello? I don't think... Hodson, uh, don't screw about. I'm not screwing about. I don't think, uh, and Naples is joking, I don't think all that. Okay, just to uh, quickly uh, reiterate uh, the updates on what uh, the current storm situation. Uh, we have extra tropical cyclone Bonnie located at 33.4 degrees north, 77.9 degrees west, uh, with winds Hi. at 30 miles per hour and air pressure 1,009 millibars. This is as of 1800 UTC on the 31st of May 2016. Um, we also have Inverse 91E located at 9.3 degrees north, 110.6 degrees west, with winds of 25 miles per hour and an air pressure 1,009 millibars as of 1800 UTC on the 31st of May 2016. Um, Inverse 91E currently has a 30% chance of development in the next 48 hours, 80% uh, in the next five days. Uh, we'll just quickly show you guys uh, the satellite imagery. Right, just uh, before Michael does that, I would like to correct him on, on a mistake that he made there. Uh, Bonnie is not extratropical. I repeat, he, Bonnie is not extratropical, rather uh, post-tropical. There's a big difference between uh, both of them. Okay, Mr. Exact. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> um, there, here's the uh, satellite imagery on Inverse 91E. Hello. And I'll just go over to shortwave IR. I'm looking as though it might be intensifying. Oh, yeah. uh, we've got water vapor. Uh, water vapor fairly conducive for storm development. Um, looking at the RGB. Uh, looking at good. Uh, it looks that it could be consolidating itself into uh, one center of circulation. That's around about um, approximately, I'd say, nine degrees north, uh, 108 east, uh, west, sorry. Um, looking at the uh, no infrared, uh, like none in the infrared enhancements. Uh, looks like those storms are getting bigger. Uh, the clouds are. Um, Coming a bit more bigger. Uh, here's the AVN imagery. Okay. So quiet. So there's the uh, AVN. Uh, looking at the uh, track now. So this is the Eastern Pacific Invest. Uh, yep. Well, a typical tropical wave over there. That, uh, usually over in the East Pacific takes a while to develop, um, but quite often they do, and that's why the NHC have it at 80% in the next five days if they've not increased that already. They probably haven't, though. There's the JSL. You mean 91, uh, 91E? Yes. Just bringing you guys the uh, funk top. Any one is actually not a not a uh, tropical wave, but rather a tropical low. It wasn't connected to a tropical wave at all. <laughs> well, it's certainly a tropical something. That is true. Mm -hmm. uh, now, just for the last uh, imagery. Oh, hang on, just going back on the rainbow. Uh, here's the uh, RB top imagery. I'll be stepping out for a second. Okay. 
Yeah, that's uh, about it on uh, the current uh, storm situation. Uh, looking at the outlooks for the uh, seasonal forecasts for this year, uh, the first one released by TSR on December 16th, 2015, uh, they were calling for 13 named storms, five hurricanes, and two majors. TSR also on the April 5th, 2016, 12 storms, uh, six hurricanes, and two majors. Uh, CSU, uh, Colorado State University, uh, April 14th, uh, had 13 named storms, six hurricanes, and two majors. Uh, the NCSU, uh, North Carolina State University, um, had on the April April 15th, 2016, 15 to 18 named storms, 8 to 11 hurricanes, and 3 to 5 majors. Yeah. And we've got the UK, UKMO uh, on May 12th. Uh, they had 14 named storms, 8 hurricanes, uh, not applicable for majors. Uh, maybe they're not predicting any major storms that year, other than no. uh, that, uh, that uh, forecast. You uh, not predict, uh, uh, doesn't normally predict on major hurricanes. They only predict uh, tropical storms and hurricanes. They leave out major hurricanes because that's uh, just how they are. Okay. Not because they're not forecasting it. Um, and then also we have the oh. uh, forecast from NOAA on May 27th. 10 to 16 hurricane, uh, tropical storms, 4 to 8 hurricanes, and 1 to 4 majors. And finally, another TSR forecast on May 27th with 17 named storms, 9 hurricanes, and 4 majors. Mm -hmm. And a reminder, CSU is updating their hurricane season forecast tomorrow at 10 a.m., uh, Eastern Daylight Time. Excellent. Okay. Um, also, I find it interesting that uh, Wikipedia does not have CSU's uh, first uh, forecast, which came out in December of last year. Well, I think I may um, head off now. Right. Uh, and uh, I hope you guys. Um, have it, enjoy uh, bringing in um, the rest. I don't know. <laughs> I am ex I am extremely tired. I don't know what the hell I am yammering on about. Exhausted. Uh, well, it's yeah, best not yeah. to yammer when you're speaking to an audience and you're exhausted. Yep. Uh, All right. Um, so uh, have, uh, have a good night, Michael. Make sure you uh, have a, have a good night's rest. And uh, by the way. If my prediction's right, you owe me a beer. <laughs> How about this? How about uh, two bottles of scotch and uh, and and, uh, and uh, about maybe one bottle of, of vodka? Think yeah, that like, why not? Yeah, that sounds good. Sounds good. You are gonna be so wasted after that. Yeah, you should see you should see the plans I have lined up for my 18th. And that will be on <laughs> Force 13 Extra, folks. <laughs> Yeah, Michael's nice out at a pub. <laughs> Enjoy. It'll Certainly be it'll be, be it'll be quite funny actually. Uh, yeah. My sister says it'd be funny to see me drunk. Wonderful. Mm. Wonderful. So yeah. Anyways, I'll uh, see you guys later. Uh, enjoy. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, be online tomorrow. Um, just to say quickly as well to guys watching quick few announcements that I'll just put out there for you guys. Uh, I did say this earlier uh -oh. in the show uh, yesterday. Um, well, it is yesterday now, actually. Uh, <laughs> um, is that I am now continuing on um, with making hypothetical seasons. Um, just need to get the templates consolidated and finished, um, which they are quite close to completion now. Um, so I should be able to take requests within a matter of days. Um, and uh, so what I'll be doing is uh, all basins but no worldwide full animations um, and also possibly be dabbling into some tornado um, hypotheticals oh, as well oh joys um, oh, there'll, be, there'll be full rules with that released in the video possibly on Force 15 tomorrow I've got people going uh, bananas over that yeah um, and then we've also got um, plans as well uh, for possibly, um, I don't know yet, um, 
Mm -hmm. I might be doing an update on Bonnie tomorrow. Um, and also be having some feature videos coming up for you guys as well. Um, also, possibly some Q&As if any of you guys want to uh, send in any questions or anything. Uh, and stuff for you guys to enjoy. Um, but yeah, uh, I think that's about it. Okay, that's good. Um, I'll see you guys later. Right. Bye. Bye. Have a great night. That's oh. suddenly it. Alrighty, that is our grand uh, Michael Scott for you. Oh yes, well you know why I was what's happened you Adam. Marcel, have you got anything to contribute at this point? Oh wait, I forget, he's not sitting by his computer most of the time. <laughs> uh, Daniel's a witness to that, yes. Yeah. He's seen I, that many times. I'm still here. So. When we have the the the, uh, the possible G name storm for this year, uh, uh, might go uh, Southern Caribbean this year. Can't Never know. Might go might go uh, might go uh, check out uh, uh, Marcel's northern uh, coastline. Who knows? Well, that would be Can fun. I just say, yeah, a second. Michael's just come up to him about twenty minutes or so. <laughs> if possible. Oh goodness! Is he like a, attached to the stream or something? I don't know. I like that or something. Anyway, at this point, um, I'm not sure where we should go next. I mean, we, we sort of did a lot of the discussion before the uh, the Hurricane no, Hurricane yeah. season. Uh, well, uh, hey, if anything, we could always uh, continue to the uh, to the. Uh, to this side of the Atlantic's uh, official countdown start of the season, if you want. <laughs> well, it's still quite some distance away. Five oh, hours. It's only it's only six o'clock in the morning. Uh, every time that happens. Well, in uh, four hours. No, oh, that's true. Daniel, what are you doing on your phone? I'm getting something up on it. You're not being very professional, are you? No. He's uh, he's trying to keep uh, keep awake by looking on his phone. <coughs> you could entertain. You're welcome. So I wanted to say. You know, I had a suggestion. Did you? Yeah, but I need to find find it. If you have a suggestion, surely you have it, and you no, don't have to find it. Ask Hotson, maybe. Oh. <laughs> We're toying with a little feature, Ask Hotson. Oh, Pete, well... You got any questions for him? Yeah, I found it here. Where did you come from, Hotson? I don't know. What should I do about my relationship trouble? I oh, my. <laughs> Is that your pre that's your predicted response? Yeah, um, not mine. Someone else predicted Okay, it. fine. Let's play Ax Hudson. Let's ask him life's big questions. Where do we come from, Daniel? Where do we come from? Yeah, you know, human beings as a species. Evolution. All oh, right, but where does the uh, where does the more primitive life that we right. evolved from? Come from? Um, um, what Hudson go camping the again? Not the single cell organisms. So we evolved out of water droplets. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Interesting. Well, either that or it came, we came from meteorites. Meteorites. Yeah, that's one of the theories. But then you've got the question, if we came from meteorites, where did the meteorite come oh, from? Right. <laughs> it's never ending, is it? No. Uh, uh, crazy stuff. Meteorites come from other meteorites banging on each other. Yeah, potentially. Um, and uh, what else are we going to ask? Uh, Adam, have you got any questions that you think Daniel might be able to help you with. <laughs> uh, are you planning to go camping again? Are you planning to go camping again? Yeah. Yes. Well, this month, I mean, I was going to say next month, but it's the 1st of June. Exactly, that's what it's going to be. this month. Solstice. Yep, yeah. at the solstice, yep, we are. Uh, and uh, Took Pros, I'm not sure if this question is for you in particular, but we'll give it to you first before asking everyone else. Do you think there'll be any retired names this year? 
Maybe. 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 Oh, what a great answer. What about everyone else? I, 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 hope, I hope so. Or else it'll be a pretty boring year. It wasn't Gaston. It's David. Orlando well, thinks I, that Gaston I, will be retired. I hope, I hope Gaston, the, the Gaston name lives on for centuries. Centuries. Is David retired? David, yes. David is retired. Oh. And David's David. not, so not, not, not literally yeah. retired, but well, David's not far from retirement. But uh, David <laughs> of 1979 is retired. <laughs> yes. Um. I got a good couple of years to go before I start retire. Yes. Oh, you've got me well, yeah, Adam. You don't sound that old. That's because I'm wishing I was a young kid again. Okay, um, well, where do we go from here? Uh, we go looking on the other side of the pond. Um, if anyone wants to screen share anything right now, by the way, do go ahead. Uh, all right, let me find something to screen share first. Ah, I know exactly what I could screen share. What do I? Yeah. Right. Okay. So uh, while we're at it, uh, let's do a little bit of a uh, update uh, uh, on the Enzo. The Enzo, not like an update. Right. Well, currently, um, the Nino regions are turning negative. And heading into La Nina, and I'm pretty sure everyone probably already guessed that already since we've been yabbering on about it pretty much for the past yeah. what, two <clears> hours. <throat> so, uh, here we go. The latest update as of, uh, well, mm -hmm. uh, yesterday or day before yesterday for you guys. Um, Right, so uh, Nino 1 plus 2 is at 0 0.2, which is actually, uh, at looking at the uh, more updated ones, are uh, a little bit lower than that now. Uh, Nino 3 is uh, gone to negative 0 0.3. Nino 4 now in the negative values at 0 0.1. Uh, Nino 4 still being a stubborn at 0 0.6 usually Nino 4 would be the last area to uh, to cool off anyway so um, still uh, keeping an eye on that yeah mm -hmm. Daniel what are you doing so I hate fiddling with this drink holder stop fiddling with the drink holder <laughs> do apologize uh, yeah. he's getting thirsty <laughs> yes Unfortunately, it's not raining, Daniel, so I uh, don't know where you're going to get a drink from. <laughs> so there's the uh, sea surface temperature charts, anomalies. Here's the, uh, here's the equatorial uh, upper ocean heat anomalies, and uh, you can see it, uh, it continuing to uh, get cool, cold. Now, last time I uh, looked, there was even the possibility of a very tiny area in the equatorial West Pacific that was below normal now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, just depending on how strong this uh, La Nina becomes, we could have um, all of this cool stuff all the way up in here and the uh, over, uh, over here and into the uh, into the uh, West Pack. So. Mm. But it is getting chilly. <laughs> It certainly makes it look like there's a big freeze going on, but uh, it's only a few degrees below average and it's still quite warm. Yeah, well, you know, it's just a matter of uh, time. That is indeed awesome, yes. Yes. Better. So, uh, yes, uh, just uh, reminding everyone again, if I hadn't reminded you, you guys enough, um, that uh, uh, CSU's forecast for uh, this year's hurricane season uh, comes out uh, later today for you guys, um, um, tomorrow for me. 
So, I'm just pointing uh, everyone towards a tornado warning, which is in effect for West Central Kleberg County in southern Texas. Um, there's a thunderstorm capable of producing tornado there, located near uh, over Ricardo or near Kingsville, moving northeast at 10 miles per hour. Uh, they're reporting tornado and baseball size hail. Ooh, hail studs. Um, though that's not a confirmed tornado, it's just a radar indicating t uh, rotation. Severe thunderstorm warning a bit further to the west of there as well. Um, all in southern Texas, there's a big line of storms um, rushing through towards uh, from west to east. Um, it is very wet further north as well, but not so bad, but um, not in that regard, but it is in other regards because there's flash flood warnings and watches all over the place across Texas, as Devin <coughs> uh, mentioned a few hours ago. <coughs> and here we've got a cough alert at 413 <laughs> HQ. Daniel? Yeah. Anything you'd like to say about that? No. No. Oh, so. Um, how, how, how big of a, uh, of a threat is the uh, cough alert? It is a is threat to life and property. The cough? Yeah. <laughs> is it contagious? I don't know. Is it contagious, Daniel? Ask Hotson. I have no idea. Oh. <laughs> I'm not a doctor. And as usual, I, I predicted uh, what he would say with all these questions. Usually he would say, I don't know. <laughs> what you said. What? What not? Whoa. I don't think I'm gonna go now. Oh, he's gonna go. <laughs> 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 Saw that one coming. Of course we did. Can you go in it? Let's do it. Well, um, he, 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 we've got a green room actually where he can seek refuge. Yeah. Um, ah. Hide away. <laughs> hide away if he has to leave us. If it was me, I would have uh, uh, tied him in the tree. Oh dear, we do have a tree outside. Do mm, you you catch some rope? No, afraid not. It's on the other side oh. of the fence. Oh. <laughs> what did you propose that it was it? Sorry? What did, what did you think I was going to do to it? With what? The tree. No. Well, <laughs> what do you think I'm going to do? I don't know, you're only listening to one half of this conversation, aren't you? Oh. <laughs> I don't fancy it. Sleeping under a tree. Sleeping under a tree. Why not? Oh, the insects falling on me. Oh. You're most concerned about the insects. And acorns and whatever. Acorns. Yeah, bits of branches and. Bits of branches. Yeah. Yummy. It's not much of a wind out there tonight, you know. I don't know. No, very little. Very late. Don't do trees. You don't do trees. <laughs> Oh, well, well, would no, you lie down in our pristine grass in the uh, Force 13 garden, eco garden, by the way? Sure. You would. That's under a tree. Did you notice? Uh, and if I you mean, get hungry, you could always uh, day, start yeah, camping with grass. Night. During the day, he would. Yeah, because at night, all bugs and spiders come out. and That's something I've never actually done, and I'd like to one day, when it's warm what? at night. Just light on the grass all night, you know? Mm. Yeah, done that. Been there, done that. Uh, got uh, uh, bitten by a couple of spiders, stung by a scorpion, and might have gotten my leg wrapped around a snake, but yeah. Oh my. Devon's arrived. Oh dear. What do you mean, oh dear? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hudson's oh, got something oh. against you, Devon. I don't. <laughs> oh boy. Devon's here. He's so angry, he's not even talking. Mm. <laughs> Uh, no, no. All it is, all it is, is that yeah, that he's just angry, and you're just uh, uh, using the using the silent bleep thing over him. <laughs> and yeah. yeah, it's not. Uh, Two Bros says a water spout has been reported by Three Rivers, Texas, by a trained spotter. So that's the latest. Apparently, a water spout has been spotted. I'm guessing in that same area I was referring to. If not, please let me know. Uh, but yes, uh, the tornado warning is still in in effect. Uh, it's just on. Uh, where is that? I thirty seven, if I'm not mistaken, the same place Devon was referring to earlier, where an identical tornado warning was in effect. 
or is it somewhere else? US 77, not far from Kingsville. Anyway, uh, where is Devon and Orlando? Where are their voices right now? We haven't heard them, it's like a dead zone. Oh, uh, what? Uh... We've got Lee, that's for sure, and Adam, and Daniel. I mean, we, we can't possibly have technical difficulty with Daniel here. <laughs> And then again, I don't know. The smoke <laughs> pouring out of his head. And uh, you, you never know. Uh, he might uh, he might end up uh, tripping off over the uh, computer and just well, wrecking. That's, well, it's quite difficult considering it's under a desk. What's under a desk? A computer. Oh. Well. What? What do you think I was talking about? <laughs> a leg. A leg. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you maybe? I don't know. I'm only hearing one side of the conversation. And it's quite funny though. Yeah. There you are. Well. Oh, there's the feedback again. I think that's all under. I think that's all under. I think it's all that. I like to. I like to. I like to. The current time is what? Uh, well, 131 a.m. here at Force 13 HQ. That's. BST. It's half past midnight UTC and I guess at this point we're going to go to a short break and we'll be back in a few moments. Right. para la transmisión en vivo de Force Team en español. Estaremos en el aire por dos horas todos los domingos por la noche. Force 13 Spanish Show. Force 13 on Español. Every Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. A game that comes with just one question. What is it, guys? It's Arcade yeah. Sunday. No! No. What is this storm? Hurricane Rick. Nope, not Hurricane Rick. Do you know what? I might take a stab. Possibly, could it be Sandra? No, it just was a name, Mike. What is it? Typhoon, um... Hyen. Well, how about that? It is. It it's is? Oh! Oh, big blow to Devon. But the answer is never quite as simple as the question. Guess the storm on Force 13's live streaming service every Sunday at 10 p.m. UTC. Welcome back. This is Force 13 live. My name is Nathan Foy, and I'm joined by Daniel in the room. Must be your bedtime soon. Yeah. <laughs> He's agreed. Uh, and we're also joined by the Skype team as well. Hello. Oh, welcome back. They're all still there. Even Orlando. He yeah, David's got off for the moment. Seems to have resolved his feedback problem. I think I'll stay another 15 minutes. You're going to stay another 15 minutes. Yeah, that is to music to everyone's ears, I think. <laughs> One way or another. Yeah, David, tell me, tell me, Dave. Huh? I, bet, I bet you can't wait to get rid of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Nothing much trouble. Well, a few things we might say off air. <laughs> Moving on. Um, uh, what what is going on in the in in terms of seismology and volcanoes recently, Lee? 
Alright, okay, there's well, quite a few erupting with one down in Antarctica. We've had a continuous eruption in Indonesia from the Sayabung uh, volcano and uh, also Yellowstone continues its earthquake activity as well. Mm. So, um, I'll give further updates on more pairs another week, but uh, that's things so far. Very interesting. I hope yep. Yellowstone doesn't erupt, but I doubt it will. Yep. Um, is that for another show? Hmm. Okay, well, uh, hey. Uh, we're going to run for another 25 minutes before the Atlantic Hurricane season countdown special is uh, officially finished. And then at which point um, we will probably play out some Force 13 videos for the next yeah, few hours be good. and leave you with the uh, live stream outside RHQ by the time we get to about. Five o'clock in the morning local time. Um, yeah, if I could ask something. Yes. Uh, so is it one BST you want me to do that hour? Um, yes. Yeah. So one B one o'clock then. Mm -hmm. uh, that's great. That's right. Daniel, yeah, would you like to talk more that. about your? Uh, I mean, you mentioned one of your YouTube channels, but you didn't mention the other, did you? You mean um, the gaming one? Yeah. The one that you actually wanted to talk about in the first place. Well, yeah. <clears throat> well, get close to the mic there. Well, like I said, I started it in 2009, and uh, it, w it wasn't a serious channel until 2014, where I actually put effort into making the videos. That's Before been a long time. Yeah, it's it's just like, it was mostly due to advice someone gave me that one of my friends he, he had a look at it and said you should go this way rather than just keep churning out rubbish. Well, not rubbish, just random videos. <laughs> on your work rubbish. <laughs> so, uh, well, they're not, it's not rubbish, I'd say. Uh, but yeah, he's, he gave me, like, some game. He told me about some new games and stuff that have been released and that I should play them because they're more likely to get hits and stuff like that. So that's just what I did. But obviously, because due to circumstances beyond my control, I've not been able to make any new videos recently. It's a shame. What are those circumstances? <laughs> Brother, oh, mostly, and that being really, well, he's careful what you say now. Yeah, well, uh, he's, in, he's in the room a lot, and he's usually on the computer, and he usually, he's quite disruptive. So uh, disruptive. Yeah. Uh, oh, we know he's that. He's either man. on the computer or he's in bed, and I don't want to wake him up, and I obviously oh. can't access the computer while he's on it. So yeah, wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Um, anything else you'd like to say about what? Uh, have you enjoyed the tonight stream, the big countdown? Yeah, it's been enjoyable. Um, apart from the f fact I've been quiet, <laughs> um, I think it's been good. To You've just been observing me all night, really. Let's yeah, be it's been like a like an observation. <laughs> I don't know whether I should be scared about that no, or don't just. Be. I haven't been making notes or anything like mm. that. No, I've just been I've just been watching. I think it should be scary. I think it's good to be able to We don't actually this is our professional Force Thirteen HQ is we don't actually have any notes to keep. No, no nothing to write on. Not today anyway. Mm. It's because we're so electronic. <laughs> <laughs> don't use paper anymore. <laughs> Otherwise we'd have to chop it down our tree at the back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have to buy some typhoon uh, tips. Buy some typhoon yeah. tips. Yeah, they're right with felt it bends. Yeah. Nathan. Yes. Uh, Chris says he still plans to be here. Oh. So he's only there at a time, hasn't he? Yeah, I know, he right? Quite. He's only got 20 minutes left. Yeah. Well, uh, well, well uh, in the meantime, Adam, uh, what uh, what can people expect from you during your shows during the Atlantic Hurricane season? Uh, well, um, I mean, it's Caribbean weather death so um, we'd be talking about uh, the weather in um, the Caribbean <laughs> and also I would say the La Nina such as um, well yeah, there, there's, uh, there's other stuff the La Nina um, uh, hurricane stuff we'd also be talking a little bit about the seismic stuff to you know uh, volcanoes earthquakes so and so like that have you got uh, anything planned for next week 
Uh, well, uh, depending on how uh, how uh, the rest of this week and weekend goes, I'm quite sure there will be a lot. It's of going to things. be tropical talk, uh, isn't it? Yes, yes, it definitely would be tropical talk. Um, well, I, I'd say if anything, by by t- by the time we get to uh, Thursday night, Friday, it would be a constant tropic talk. To be honest. Well, I've got you down here on the Caribbean weather desk to next appear on Monday afternoon, if that's all right with you. Mm, yep, yep. Well, that's not if we're sitting in the middle of a tropical storm by then. Indeed. So, um, but uh, also, I do also want to um, um, put out uh, this too. Uh, got a couple of other shows uh, that will be uh, uh, shown out. Uh, the uh, Defense news, uh, basically news from around the world, uh, from uh, different uh, uh, military organizations around the world. Uh, get to know what's going on in the world uh, around us and uh, what in the world is going to be happening in the future, as well as um, uh, Aviation Hour, which we will be uh, talking about uh, aircraft uh, flying, aviation. Mm. Uh, all stuff like that. Uh, so if anyone's uh, interested uh, in aviation or, or in flying in aircraft or just uh, going out on a holiday, uh, would be interested to uh, watch this go as well. <clears throat> Take part, of course. Okay, well... Um... Yeah, we're down to the last uh, 20 minutes of uh, of the show. All right. Uh, still 56 degrees at Force 13 HQ. Just You're about. Down to 46. Remarkable. Our temperature's staying the same. It's nice out there, yeah, Daniel. You can sleep in the garden if you like. <laughs> the Force 13 garden. It might be a bit cold. It's actually got. It's even got lighting out there thanks to solar power. Oh. No, I don't want to risk no? it. No. Why not? I don't know. Nice. I'm scared. <laughs> what if something bad happens? <laughs> well, what's the worst that could happen in an, ex- in, an, in an enclosed garden? I don't know. Burglars, probably. Sorry? Burglars? Burglars. I might get attacked. You might get attacked. Yeah. Well, to be fair, if you were lying down on some grass, they'd, they'd trip yeah, over you and do some, some damage to themselves, won't they? <laughs> Before they you notice know you're there. Yeah. Jason, I just do something quite funny here. Yes. Uh, do you know a uh, burglar jumped into somebody's garden a couple of uh, houses up? And do you know they went into their house and made a sandwich? <laughs> I'm not joking, that oh went into their house and made a sandwich. Crazy. So, if you've got your burglar ago. stories, do send your messages. <laughs> yeah, it was a couple of years ago. I just wanted to let you know that. Uh, that's funny. Mm. All right. Yeah. Hello. Oh, that's the sound Maybe. of heaven. Maybe I, I, I have no clue. Pardon? Probably. Kevin. He is there, but he How must is, be confused. How was the countdown? Oh, it was spectacular. Well, yeah, we're still. I, I'm still waiting for the countdown to happen over our side, Devin. So, yeah. Yeah, but you're still another hour ahead of me. Yeah, so I, 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 I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit more luckier than you, but uh, we're both uh, uh, um, out of luck when it comes to uh, Nathan and the rest of the guys. So, uh, hey, you're lucky enough to have your own. You're lucky enough to have your own thing. I, I've still yet to make mine. Don't even know what I would even do with John or. Oh, whatever, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, if you if you need if you need a hand, then uh, I'll I'll be here to give you a hand. Yes, um, we are planning to do the American Weather Roundup every so often. And no, uh, I mean like, uh, no, I mean like. Uh, half an hour or one hour however long it'll take me to do it really doesn't long to do these things. Uh, half an hour hour tropical update type 
thing. Mm. Yeah. Well, um, it'll, it'll be interesting to see how uh, Caribbean Weather Desk goes with uh, their uh, uh, full-time Caribbean Weather Desk couple uh, update discussions. So that'll be interesting to see how that goes. Don't tell me that was us. <sighs> Mike is apparently doing astronomy hour. That's going to be interesting, to say the least. <laughs> We've got something here for everyone. I've got a play bit sure as well. <laughs> and of course, we'll be having plenty of other action throughout the week when it comes to the sports. <laughs> Oh, well, this, it's only a week of trade to that, start the year. Hopefully, hopefully we can get the Saskatoon race in this this Sunday. I still did do a little tweak on the brakes, the paint on us, but it, it it's looking it's looking like it's going to come together. That sounds awesome. And it, what I'm it does for... sound awesome, but I think it's going to be a really uninteresting be race. Really we'll have to see. Oh. <laughs> Uh, what I'm looking forward to is uh, uh, is uh, Force 13 uh, uh, flight sim. <laughs> well, that is something we haven't actually thought of yet. But I suppose you were talking about, I don't know if you've mentioned it on here or not, but you're on about the aviation out. Yeah, you did mention it, of course. Um, you yeah. could build that, build that in as a special. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, that, that, that's that, that's definitely uh, something that we're that we're thinking about. Um, um, well, uh, the uh, the uh, about to return. the uh, the three. I would I would say out of out of all of us, the three uh, 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 aviation knowledge heads and uh, and pilots. I guess if you want to call it, would be probably Nathan, me, and uh, and uh, and Chris. So. Yep. So uh, yeah, uh, just just saying. Um, so uh, the Aviation Hour show is being uh, hosted by uh, myself and Chris. Uh, Chris being a, a new member, uh, he's uh, he's well knowledge in the field. So. Okay. Uh, Dave is returned. Yeah, he has. Yeah. I am uh, finally uh, back, and uh, good to be here. It is indeed. How are things going in your neck of the woods over in Australia? Well, uh, young Lee and I have had a uh, chat uh, earlier, mm -hmm. and I'm uh, not going to disclose it till I do my show. But what I will say is stay tuned. Because oh, the yes. weather scene is going to really we fire. Yeah. And La Nina, here, here it comes. Yes. Maybe that just went off for you, um, David, for sure. Yes, and I'll be. Too. Oh yes, yeah. so a repeat of 2011, 2013. Yeah. But what I, I'm actually leaning towards the two, late 2010, uh, 2011, and uh, I'm not <laughs> ruling out major flooding. But I'll have more to say uh, when uh, uh, I do my yeah. uh, show. Yeah, uh, as part of the Oh, I yes. Uh, yeah. Coming along really good, although we haven't actually had the official launch, uh, but it's all coming together and it's, it's going to be a, um, a something to uh, follow in addition to our... Main Force 13 channel. Right, we'll have its and representation on the stream, David. Uh, Thursday yes. morning for you, isn't it? That you'll be streaming live Force 13 AU. That is uh, correct.
But all the activity uh, is over in the United States. So I'm going to pick up on earlier uh, comments or the discussion re-flooding. Uh, um, people have to realise that they've got to apply caution when there's any water over a road surface. There was a uh, swift water emergency, I think it was <clears> in <throat> Texas, where somebody got stuck <clears throat> on a bridge in flood water and uh, the swift water uh, team, uh, when I cited the, uh, the posting, it was actually the Hood County News. Uh, they reported it, that they were uh, preparing to um, go into action to... Uh, retrieve uh, occupants of a pickup stranding in floodwaters location with sunset acres court so not being uh, over there in the states uh, anybody could uh, post uh, on the uh, youtube uh, chat uh, feature uh, what state i think it was most likely texas but floodwater please stay away from it Well, 10 to 2 is the time, local time here in the UK, 10 to 1 UTC, and that would make it 10 to, uh, 10 to 9, I think, is that right? Or 10 to 8? 10 to 8, up on the Caymans at the moment. And yeah. the Caymans. Yeah. I'd be able to that it will be 10 to 9. It is 10 to 9 in the East Coast, yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's what I was thinking of. David? Hey. So, uh, just another update on the uh, uh, the ongoing uh, weather scene over in Texas. Yeah, I just must mention I there, David, not... there was a tornado warning in effect more than once. There are none in effect now, though, and there was believed to be a uh, water spout. Uh, yes, I cited, uh, the, what was it, a report of three uh, water spouts? Three of them. And I think that's... And I think it's the second time this week that there's been a group of three. However, it's been reported from a National Weather Service spotter, uh, read a rainfall uh, uh, in the uh, Texas area, 2.24 inches of rain in 30 minutes in Benavides, B-E-N-A-V-I-D-S in Texas. So what's that? Two and a half inches in 30 minutes. That's a lot. That's very dangerous. Uh, David. Yes. I've got breaking news. Uh, well, you can tell the um, audience what's well, happening. I may as well. Um, there is actually snow in Zimbabwe at this time, which is uh, quite near the equator. Um, so that's uh, a first snow event in Zimbabwe in a good 50 years. So I just thought I'd get that in there as well. Uh, I'll speak to you more about that later, David, but yeah. Well, uh, Lee, uh, we might be able to uh, provide the, uh, the viewers uh, uh, with uh, some more information on that uh, during your uh, climate um, show. I show, yes. That's the first evening. Um, it'll be 10 UTC, so uh, I'll maybe add that into the, the discussion. Um, uh, just want to uh, interrupt uh, here to uh, say welcome. Uh, uh, it's a bit late, but welcome, Chris. Hello, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chris, uh, Chris always has... Uh, technical issues when he uh, puts in an appearance in, but... I think he might, no, uh, might, he, he might, he might have gotten his mic uh, off. He is, he is off. Mike's in a tangle. Uh, no, it isn't. <laughs> okay. Oh, goodness to have you on live, uh, Chris. Glad yeah, to be here. Live, <laughs> right. Um... 
So, uh, as, I, as I said earlier, um, the uh, aviation show, uh, um, and uh, this is the Chris who will be uh, hosting it, uh, Chris. Uh, if you if you wouldn't mind, uh, you know, just you know, saying quickly, you know, the kind of stuff that we're planning to do on the aviation show. Okay, well, what I'm planning to do is I'm going to take the listeners on a journey from the beginning of flight from the Orville and Wilbur all the way up to the present day. Excellent. All right, look forward to it. Yep. And all, all little uh, aviation stuff uh, is going to be discussed and also as, uh, as mentioned, we're uh, going to probably throw in a few uh, flights and flights uh, into a couple of those videos. Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. And for our uh, viewers, uh, uh, Chris, I have uh, the uh, image uh, that you provided uh, on uh, to us uh, re a uh, type of plane that you are actually uh, working on uh, so uh, that will uh, be made available uh, when uh, we do uh, your show yep. very well appreciated mm-hmm. yeah. well uh, well Chris since you are here now uh, let's uh, Let's uh, ask him the questions we've been asking uh, most of the uh, other guests on the uh, show. Uh, Chris, what do you um, what do you think about this upcoming hurricane season, which is uh, well uh, over, over on our side, uh, still a couple hours away? Um, but uh, what do you think? It's going to be rather rough, but guess what? Just endure and keep safe and everybody should make it out nice and safe mm-hmm. yeah sounds good well we're coming up to the end of the hour um, and it's officially the end of our Atlantic Oregon season special countdown thingamajig but it's not the end of our live streaming service and we will continue into open mic in the next hour so if anyone who wishes to stay uh, to to have a chat in a more relaxed atmosphere you're more than welcome to do so after the next hour I think Daniel's going off to bed yeah I'm going to go night night Daniel you're going to what I'm going to go to bed at about 2 it is 2 o'clock now yes yeah it's 2 o'clock I said I was going to go to bed at quarter 2 but I figured I might as well Absolutely. I was dragging him back six minutes ago. Like, just wait six minutes. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Daniel's off. <laughs> and we'll be back with 4.13's open mic next. Stay tuned. <laughs>